Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to see how we can implement linear regression using PyTorch. I've already implemented and explained the concept of linear regression, gradient descent from the very scratch in my previous video. If you haven't seen that video, please click the link above and go through that video so that you'll understand the basics of linear regression and gradient descent. Well, let's begin. First of all, we'll import some libraries. Import Torch. Import torch dot nn as nn numpy and matplotlib to view our plots now we'll set some hyperparameters here for our model so our input size is going to be one our output size is also going to be one our number of epochs is going to be let's keep it 50 for now and we'll also need a learning rate equals to 0 0.000 now we'll bring in some data let's say data uh, we basically need our x train equals to, I have prepared an array of our numbers here so we'll be using this as our x train and our y train as again some 15 different points which we'll be using as our y train here okay so this will be our data before moving on we'll try to plot this first so matplotlib plt dot plot x x underscore train y underscore train uh, let's give our o our o and We'll give this label as original data. So if we see the data, the data is distributed in the following way. Now, the main purpose of linear regression is to fit a line here or is to find the best fit line which can uh, accumulate all these data points and then uh, build a prediction model uh, which will be used uh, for further user inputs. So let's begin. Let's define our linear regression model. Model equals to nn dot linear. And we'll give our input size and output size that we have defined earlier. We'll define a loss function. So let's define a criterion. We'll use mean squared error loss here as our loss function. Also, we'll define our optimizer. And this will be <coughs> our SGD optimizer, stochastic gradient descent optimizer. Now, model dot parameters and LR equals to learning rate that we had already defined. Okay, we have our model, we have our loss function and we have our optimizer here. So now let's train the model. So we have a certain number of epoch that we have defined. It's around 50 for now. So epoch in range number of epochs. So first of all, what we do is we convert our numpy arrays to torch tensors. numpy array to torch tensors. The inputs is going to be torch dot from underscore numpy and we'll feed our extra data here. And outputs or targets, let's say target, not output, targets equals to torch dot from underscore numpy and we'll give our white train here so we'll do two passes here we'll first do a forward pass <coughs> calculate the loss and then uh, we'll do a backward pass and optimize our optimize our gradient so let's do a forward pass first it's pretty easy to do it in torch so outputs equals to model inputs 
the model is the linear regression model that we defined we're inputting our inputs and we'll calculate the loss here so criterion outputs and targets so once we do a forward pass we'll give our input we'll calculate the loss and then we'll do a backward backward pass and then optimize our parameters so backward and optimize we'll do optimizer dot zero underscore grad we'll do loss dot backward and we'll do optimizer dot step so what we're going to do is let's print our loss after the completion of each, ep each epoch so print epoch something and our loss value epoch something let's give a comma here and loss something uh, dot format now we'll give our epoch value here plus one and a loss dot item okay so this is all about training the model let's run this okay we might have made some mistakes here let's see epoch and loss oh sorry i, I should have kept this inside here not outside but inside this bracket here okay so there are two different commas here okay so for training the model as you can see the loss actually began from 47.239 and then it gradually reduced up to 0.444495 okay we'll do something here let's only train this up to five epoch and see uh, how our how our base fit line looks or whether the base fit line that we have is correct or not so let's do predicted equals to model dot dot from underscore numpy x train dot detach dot numpy and we'll plot our data here using the same plot statement and then we'll also plot our line here so this is going to be x train predicted and label equals to fitted line let's show a legend and let's plot this so if you go until five paper well your best fit line is not exactly correct let me increase this to 10 and then see how our best fit line has improved now so Okay, as you can see, uh, it's trying to uh, go towards the data. Let's do 20. As you see, uh, it's the best fit line is getting closer and closer to the data distribution here. And now let's increase this to 40 or 50. Okay, we can go on to 50. And as you can see, now we have a pretty best fit line or a pretty good line here uh, and the entire loss value uh, up until the 50th epoch is also quite less which is a good thing for us so seems like this is our correct uh, correct value so we'll try to predict something here okay uh, le let me predict a random value okay uh, I'll I'll create a x test here so x underscore test equals to um, I'll just give a np dot array and let me just write some value okay I will test this for maybe 20.0 and see uh, 
and see the output value here so this will be our input value and let's keep this inside here predicted so I'll give X test here and then I'll print my output here so let's see what is the output for this predicted value Ah, sorry I should also mention the type at the end here so this is going to be comma and np.432 okay so for 15 uh, or if I increase this graph to 20 uh, now my prediction says that my y axis should increase up to 7 so as we see a linear line here uh, the prediction seems to be somewhat correct here yeah? let me predict for like a value maybe 9.5 and then see uh, what kind of result I get so for 9.5 I get something close to about about 3.3 which is which is kind of correct here so so yes this is how you implement uh, linear regression using PyTorch in the upcoming video we're going to see how to implement logistic regression using PyTorch. Thank you for joining in. If you have any questions, do comment down below and I'll try to help you. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.